My name is Jay Spivey and I'm unattached, single, bachelor. I also have three Facebook pages, a LinkedIn group, a LinkedIn page, a YouTube channel, Pinterest boards, and my own online magazine and a rarely used Tumblr site. So please don't tell me that I need to join Match.com. We're socializing with sound bites these days and we know so little about the people we're interacting with online. I will admit to you, I am a hopeless romantic. She should be able to appear in public in ball gowns, enjoy and love my dog, ask questions and enjoy good bantering, have an empathetic nature, love her parents and siblings, have dignity and a positive sense of self, actually like men. 20% of America has used or is using online dating for efficiency, I guess. Is that really working? I tend to filter the present through the past. I miss fedoras. Kind of like cardigans, too. I want movies to be less Tim Burton and more David Lean. Does anybody even know who David Lean is these days? And I would certainly like to fall in love with a wonderful woman. Some of my friends tell me that online dating has worked for them, but do we really need one more way to make ourselves instantly available? How I came to be 51 and single with no kids, I don't know. Which is not to say that I want to get married tomorrow and have kids. I'd be old enough to be the kid's granddad and Strom Thurmond, I am not. Maybe me being single for all but five of my 51 years says more about me than it does about the women I've dated or met. That's going to crack up a few women that I've dated. Or maybe I just need to change the way I meet women. That didn't sound right. As we disappear into the online world, are our social skills withering away? I will have all my own teeth, know how to iron, cook relatively well, love my dog and my family, tell good stories, be a tad sarcastic, open doors and wait till you are seated before I sit, listen, and learn to put the seat down. Put myself online. It's worth a shot. Nothing to lose but my dignity, right? So here we go. Charmingly immature and creative history nerd and online publisher seeks woman of dreams. I'm Jay Spivey and this is The Last Word. <laughs>